Hey Pisces, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and I haven't seen you guys in a while. <laughs> I haven't posted in like a week. I got a little bit of a cold and the energy that I have, the voice that I have, I'm using it for the personalized readings. Uh, so I haven't seen you in a while. Thank you so much for coming back into the channel, for watching this video, clicking on this video. I don't take it for granted, Pisces. Thank you so much. Let's see what spirit has in store for you, Pisces. Today we're going to be doing a very chill, long reading. We're going to be asking a little bit about all areas of life. So get comfy, get yourself something to drink maybe. And let's get started. You guys know how this goes. Take your time. Filter the messages accordingly. Take what resonates with you. Don't take anything that does not belong to you, that doesn't apply to your life, that doesn't make sense. Don't take it as truth for you. These are general readings. Some messages are for you, but other messages are for other people watching. So keep that in mind. The product of the week does not exist. <laughs> because I've been sick and I haven't done shit. So we don't have a product of the week this week, sorry. Uh, hopefully next week we're gonna get right back on track. <laughs> All right, spirit angels, beings of love and light, please bring in the most relevant and accurate, important and useful messages for Pisces, especially those Pisces watching. This is good for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. All right, so I see that there's a lot coming in and you're not necessarily saying yes to everything. It seems like you're being um, quite, oh, I heard defensive, but that wasn't really what I was feeling. I, I feel like it's a little bit more cautious. Like some of you are very cautious at this time. You don't feel comfortable saying yes to any and all invitations. And I think that is wise. Some of you are receiving extensions or invitations of love, kindness, and social events. Some of you are getting invited to a trip. You're getting invited to some kind of wedding, some kind of birthday, some kind of celebration here. And it seems like you're excited about it, but it also seems like you're a little bit intimidated, maybe, by certain aspects of this. So let's check this out, Pisces. <clears throat> Let me adjust this a bit. You have the Ten of Pentacles showing up here as the challenge. So some of you are in that pursuit of that high level of abundance, prosperity, but there's some challenges that are coming in. Some of you want to make this money a certain way, and Spirit is like, well, maybe not, we're not going to you know, maybe it's not through that avenue, maybe it's through this other avenue. And some of you are like, but I don't want it to be through that avenue. <laughs> you know, you may have expectations, you may have desires of how you want success to come into your life. And Spirit is telling you, well, do you want the success, the recognition, all the good things that come with it? Or do you, like, would you rather not have that? and instead just have it if it comes through that particular avenue. So there is a sense of like being overly attached to expectations that you have set for yourself. Some of you are, I don't know, it's like maybe you always wanted to make it in business and you take a lot of pride in what you have learned, what you have done, what you have created. And Spirit is like, well, we can give you a lot of money through this person. And you're like, no, I wanna I wanna make that money myself. You know, like I wanna I wanna have that come through my own effort, through my own creation. I feel like someone here is like, it just doesn't feel the same if it comes through an inheritance, if it comes through a gift, if it comes through a lottery. It's like it doesn't feel the same. Some of you are really wanting to make that happen yourselves. 
others of you are like, you know what, I don't care where it's coming from, like, as long as it's like a, um, a pure place, <laughs> you know, not a criminal place, um, you're good. So this, this is very interesting here. Some of you want a lot of money, but you don't want a lot of help. It's like you don't want to be helped. You don't want to be, uh, ooh, a charity case. That's what I just heard. Ooh, ooh charity case. You don't want to be a charity case. Uh, you would rather even say no to gifts of money if that meant almost like keeping the honor of getting wherever you want to get on your own. Very interesting, Pisces. So maybe what you want is not necessarily the money. Maybe what you want is the accomplishment. Maybe what you want is the recognition of your efforts. Food for thought. Some of you may be thinking, I want money, I want money, but then realizing, well, maybe money is not what I am particularly um, emotionally attached to. I see that some of you here have been spending a lot of time in your creative, intuitive, soft side where emotions are very loud, where spiritual purpose, connection, perspective, creativity, all of that is like higher rank, <laughs> priority than the mundane. Some of you have been a lot in this energy, but it seems like you're getting a little bit more grounded as this month goes by and we enter into April. It seems like you're going to be a little bit more focused on the tangible, the physical. Some of you are getting a bit of a wake-up call, is what I heard. A wake-up call um, about some kind of transformation. And this is making you shift from an overly ambiguous, kind of like abstract Pisces energy <laughs> into something a little bit more solid here. You could be dealing in the near future with a Capricorn, a Virgo, Taurus. You may have a lot of Earth energy around you. And this, this person or these people are going to help you almost like finish up a transformation is what I heard. Finish up a transformation. Like wrap it up. Spirit is telling you to enjoy though. It's like... It's not one or the other. It's not water or earth. It could be all elements here. Instead of being just emotional or just kind of like physical, you can also be very inspired. You can also be very thoughtful. All elements can be present and should be present in a balanced, <laughs> you know, life. And they're telling you here, what would help you feel inspired? What would help you have more fun? What will help you feel more, more passionate about your life? Or about life in general? I see here that there is around you an overall sense of uh, this like warrior energy. So family, friends, environment, country, government, um, economy. You could feel like around you there's a lot of people trying to survive. That's kind of like the vibe. Like really trying to make it through something very difficult. I see that around you, there's a lot of people who are burned out or exhausted. I don't see you burned out or exhausted in this reading, Pisces, so that's great, great news. But I do see that around you, there's a little bit of that. Everything around will, if you let it, inspire you to keep going, to not quit, to not give up, and continue pursuing a goal that you may be a little bit tired of at this point. I see some massive changes coming in. Massive. Life as you know it, it's going to change. Some of you are having hopes of a marriage, happily ever after. Some of you want to create a family. Some of you want to take it all the way. Um, in matters of the heart. Someone could be, could be moving away here. There, there's a possibility that uh, someone who's like a free-floating agent in your life, maybe like a friend who 
isn't uh, interested in marriage, doesn't have a family necessarily, someone who's just kind of on their own, um, maybe because they want to be, maybe because life circumstances have ended up, you know, bringing them to that place. This person may be moving away. They move. They may be moving away for a, you know, to a different city, to a different country, and reconnecting to a past time in their life. So this is someone who, you know, let's say that your dad, your mom, your sibling, your friend, who's a free agent, free flowing <laughs> uh, thing in your life, I guess we could say, they go back to where they went to study a different country, or they went back to a certain place that captivated their heart, or a certain city, you know, maybe back to their hometown or something. And it's going to lighten a load within you. That's what I feel. It's a lightening of a load. There is a big change happening here. In the near future, a bit of a tower moment. So this, this news that someone is moving away or going away could be a little bit more turbulent or like, they can shake you a little bit more than you would have expected. But I feel like these are good news. Let's see what else the cards have for us, Pisces. I'm going to be doing this reading in like layers. So I'm going to be using all of these decks that you see here. Most of them anyway. And we're going to go deeper and deeper. <clears throat> there could be a certain diagnosis here that shakes everything up a little as well. Maybe something that has to do with a Scorpio. It seems like you're on top of the world, Pisces. It seems like you are very connected to the whole. I'm getting this like citizen of the world vibe in which you may have friends everywhere in the world. You may have connections, contacts, or you're coming into a space in which that is going to be unfolding. All of those kinds of connections are going to be unfolding. You may be having a lot of information, or more than information, like messages coming through from different countries, cultures, places, languages. You may be connecting to people from all over the world, Pisces. And it is encouraged. It seems like good things are coming here. There's a recovery from loss that is coming in the near future for you. Pisces, some of you went through certain experiences that really affected you, that really brought you down, that took power away from you. You may feel or maybe have felt like you were never going to be the same, like things were never really going to get back on track or something along those lines. And I'm getting that that's not the case. I'm getting the opposite, that things are going to get even better than they were before. Let's see what I got here, Pisces. Let's see. <clears throat> so this is the second page of wands that we have here. I love this card. I feel like this is a very passionate, very interesting, curious card energy that makes you enjoy life a whole lot. So this is a card that, for me, it's an energy that ignites fun. It ignites adventure. It... I don't know, it brings this beauty, this search for beauty as well into our lives that makes everything very colorful, very beautiful. So this is coming up in the main energy for the second spread. If you have any questions around an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, the answer is yes. Um, take it if it resonates, of course. Uh, we have here inspiration, a lot of like self-discovery. I think that many of you are going to be drawn almost like to, to things that makes no that make no sense to you <laughs> like being drawn to things that never really draw draw you in before things that you were never interested in things that never really you know made any kind of effect on you are all of a sudden going to become very very important very meaningful and curiosity is going to strike here and it's guiding you to a very special place where you're going to have freedom. So if you feel pulled to a certain religion, I don't know, a certain spiritual path, if you feel pulled to a certain 
certain hobby, art, author, uh, practice, martial arts, uh, place, city, whatever you're drawn to, almost irresistibly, um, at this time, that, that holds infinite potential for you. There is a freedom that you can have by following that enthusiastic, I can barely speak, enthusiastic, uh, like craving for that energy. So follow it, allow it, because it's there for a reason, it's guiding you. In the near future, I see you recovering from loss. I see assistance, okay? I see someone here helping you, assisting you, um, and I do see a lot of relief. I see improvement. I see things getting better for you. But there is an element here of accepting help. If you don't accept the help, you know, things are not going to move as quickly. Things are not going to be better <laughs> or easier as quickly. Because part of the avenue that Spirit is sending your way is through other people helping you. So that's where maybe you need to evaluate your ego's perspective of, you know, do you really rather struggle than accept help from another? The answer, you know, is up to you. Of course, everybody has a different context, different story. But they're telling you here, allow the help. If God is sending help your way, allow it. Some of you feel like a part of you was permanently broken, that a part of you was destroyed. Some of you feel like there's a confidence to you that will never be restored. And Spirit is saying you're wrong, okay? Nothing, first of all, nothing is destroyed or created. Everything transforms. Energy transforms. And second, here with discredited, ignored, I see that some of you have been in environments that haven't really honored who you are. You're getting repositioned, is what I heard. Repositioned. Some of you feel like you have been broken beyond repair. Spirit is saying there is no such a thing. And the thing is, but in the recent past, you know, I see a lot of energy of confusion and chaos, mental blockages, stress, anxiety, clouded judgment. And, you know, that the presence of that energy inevitably brings in more of that. But I think that there's this passion trying to break through it all. This inspiration, this fire, this breath of fresh air that's trying to like pierce through the fog. And Spirit is saying, let it, let it. It could be through something that you, you may feel like it has nothing to do with it. As I mentioned, a new hobby. Something that inspires this like spark within you is a gift from God. So follow it. Allow space in your life to open up for that new thing. Or that new desire. Because it's, it's guiding you. It's there for a reason. And this could be something very strong, like some of you may love your job, but you're thinking about doing something else all the time. It's like, oh my God, I really want to have time to create this thing. I really want time. I really want to have the time to do this, that, the other. And you may be neglecting other responsibilities because you're craving the time to do that. Well, that's a signal <laughs> to, you know, respect and honor that, which is making you crave it so much. Of course, within reason. This is not talking about addictions. This is not talking about like substances that are not good for you. That's a whole other thing. And that's not what we're talking about here. This is more about maybe like creativity in some way. Things are not going to get better and easier overnight. You know that it has been years in the making. Certain blocks have taken a long time to solidify in your life. Hi, Chai. This is my baby, Chai. My Siamese kitty. Um, so yeah, it's not going to be overnight, but it is definitely going to be something that improves. Don't push it. 
Don't get impatient. Allow yourself to be fulfilled with these things that you're craving and sort of let things solve themselves in a way, like let things fall into place because they are. There is going to be a lot of communication in the near future that brings clarity. I get this sense that there's like a big massive thing that you have been trying to figure out or solve or understand for ages. And all of a sudden someone gives you a piece of information that's like, oh, oh, like now I get it. Now I understand. It's actually quite simple. It's like a big, big burden. A lot of stuck energy, stagnant energy that was there creating anxiety or creating kind of like a like a fog within you for ages. All of a sudden gets resolved because someone provides you here with some kind of information. It could be a Gemini, could be a Libra, could be an Aquarius, could be a Virgo as well. Some of you are procrastinating a little bit too much. You're not planning as much. It's like, I feel like there's two groups of you. And a third group somewhere in between. <laughs> Some of you are avoiding these cravings at all costs. You're like, no, I have to do what I have to do. I can't be paying attention to these desires. I can't focus you know, my time on these hobbies or doing these things that are not making me money, or doing whatever. Some of you are resisting it very strongly. Others of you are giving into it a bit too much. So it's like, oh, you know what? I've been doing this thing that I love to do all day. I haven't done anything that I have to do. And then there is those of you who are somewhere in between. I feel like somewhere in between is the best place to be here, to be honest. So try to avoid procrastinating on the things that are priorities. Try to... Open the space for those things that are exciting, but don't neglect what you have to do, even if it doesn't feel all that exciting. Try to plan ahead. Try to get organized. You know, if you want to dedicate time doing something new, this new sport, new project, new business, new side hustle, new art, new whatever, plan accordingly. It doesn't mean that you can't give it a bunch of time every day. Maybe you can, but you have to plan accordingly so the rest of your life doesn't fall apart. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. You're very intelligent, Pisces. You know how to communicate. You have clear boundaries. Use those abilities of communication to negotiate a structure around your life that is better suited for you. There's a lot of like creative opportunities, artistic vibes, intuitive, curious, just loving spiritual energies floating around you at this time. And of course, as a good Pisces that you are, you may feel very identified with those but there is someone around you who maybe reminds you to have one foot placed in the mundane physical realm and one foot placed on the spiritual. It's like a balance that needs to be attained here. Some of you are way off balance. Others of you are trying so hard to keep the balance that you're actually not giving enough space to all of that beauty. So let's go for that middle ground. Let's, let's try to aim for that space in which you have one foot solid solidly planted and grounded in the principle, and the other in the spiritual. The more disorganized, scattered, unfocused you allow yourself to be, the more affected you're going to be in the near future. Because we do see this tower here. We do see this death card here. Something is coming in that is going to shake your world. Tower moments are not necessarily comfortable. They tend to be this like moment in which things come to a head. Things that we haven't known how to deal, deal with it or, you know, things that have gotten out of control. Things that in a way just are not sustainable anymore. They come to a head and something usually gets 
broken down, destroyed. There's a, a change that is massive, that is not negotiable, that is uncomfortable, but that ultimately is for your greatest good. And I see that coming in for you, Pisces. So there's a time of change, and they're telling you the more disorganized that you are, the more scattered that you are, the harder it's going to be. So maybe take a time to fully be patient and take a minute to arrange things, to sort things out. It's a time to dot the I's and cross the T's. For some of you, there is something coming in here that can really just make you spiral out of control. Let these beautiful things sustain you and bring beauty into your life, but don't let them be an escape that ultimately hinders you. There is a, a brand new start that's coming in here. Try to rest, try to retreat, try to recover. Some of you could benefit from meditation, contemplation. Things are getting better, but I want to know more about this tower moment here. Spirit, please, please bring in more information. Let's zoom in. Um, this tower, what it looks like, what it means for Pisces. We got the world again. We got the Hierophant again, but in the reversed. We got the Ace of Cups. We got the Eight of Cups in the reverse and the Four of Wands. So there's a lesson here that some of you have been trying to learn for a while. Different scenarios have made this lesson come into your view throughout your life. There is something here that isn't complete. But you're coming into this completion. You can't get there until you address this tower moment. These could be things that you don't particularly want to organize, address, fix. You know, this could be something you want to rebel against. You may feel like you want to go against the rules. And even though that is a good thing sometimes, it's not a good thing all the time. So they're telling you here, evaluate why, evaluate like your relationship to authority. And why instead of having that be something supportive in your life, it may be something threatening. They're telling you here to open the door to love, to compassion, to... Um, Maybe like some of you for some of you are expanding the family. Some of you may be having maybe getting pregnant, not necessarily getting in like in a serious relationship. Like you may be getting pregnant out of nowhere. It could be a surprise. It could be something that uh, really kind of like you know shakes your foundation. But they're telling you here to allow the beauty of love to come in. Some of you have been kept from a life of union and love and connection with others, maybe because of fear. Some of you have felt withdrawn, you have pushed people away because of trauma. Maybe you've had fear of change or fear of trusting others because of things that have happened to you. And it's like some of you have been asking for a more loving, connected life. But you have been pushing it, pushing it away in equal, um, it, like in, uh, intensity. So now I feel like this is love and life and the universe almost saying like, we're gonna make you <laughs> have this beautiful life. You know what I mean? There are celebrations, stability, harmony, reunion, friendship, family, community, homecoming, and joy. Some of you may be. Um, selected to be like a baby's godmother, godfather, or something along those lines. Some of you, it's like you're stumbling into the life of your dreams. 
And spirit is almost like not letting you sabotage it in any way. And I feel like that has a lot to do with those of you who may be unexpectedly getting pregnant or unexpectedly um, having some kind of like, um, like, like if someone was going to be deported and therefore they end up like marrying someone just like stay in a certain country and then they end up being the love of their lives. But before that, they were just a friend, something like that. Um, I'm also getting the, like, the storyline of someone getting pregnant and being like, holy shit, what the hell? And then, you know, realizing that they want this, realizing that the one night stand they got pregnant from wants this and ends up having, you know, this person ends up having a beautiful family with this person. So much love, everything that they always dreamed of. Coming in a way that <laughs> very like tower moment, right? Very unexpected, very... Almost like non-negotiable to a certain extent. But it's ultimately for your highest good. And it's ultimately to give you something that you have been praying for. Something you have been asking for. It's just coming in a way that's a little bit abrupt. Just, just my opinion. So Spirit, bring in an additional layer of information here for Pisces. Advice, guidance. Someone here is embarking on a journey that has something to do with the scent, the smell of things. So this could be um, something that has to do with perfumes, fragrances, essential oils, um, things of the sort. This could be like a, a new business or a side hustle or something. They're saying here that this can be very successful if you empower yourself and if you put a lot of energy into action. You're going to feel less tired, Pisces. Some of you had a moment there of burnout that was a bit intense. Some of you felt like, well, this is maybe what it feels like to get older. <laughs> I hear someone saying that. And you're going to be realizing very soon that that was not the case. That was actually burnout and it's fading away, which is great news. I see you, Pisces, um, again, getting inspired by something. Something that could be a potential business or health thing, theme or something. I don't know. Something good is coming around those areas. After some kind of death, some of you may have experienced the death of a loved one or the death of a loved one's loved one. And maybe after having them pass away, this person in your life is all of a sudden more available. They want to connect with you more. They want to be present with you. It's like by someone passing away, it's almost like you get someone back. And of course, that sounds kind of horrible. And it's not that you in any way collaborated <laughs> in that happening. Um, but it's like, let's say that, uh, I don't know, your, your dad, your dad's wife, which is not your mom, passes away. And you bond deeper with your dad because of that grieving process. And it all of a sudden... I don't know, somehow improves the relationship you both have. It's like a unintentional positive side effect. Some of you may be going through that. Some of you may be rece receiving kind of like an investment. Seed money. From someone who recently had a loved one pass away. Could be. Some of you are looking at your current state of affairs and you're feeling like, yeah, you know, you're doing good, but you could be doing better. Some of you are feeling a little bit overburdened, but that's the thing. Even if you're feeling overburdened, I feel like in the near future, you're going to have more energy. 
it's different to be to have your like a very full plate and be exhausted. It's very different from having a lot of energy and a full plate that you're like excited to tackle. <laughs> you know, it's a very different vibe. And I feel like many of you are going to be showered with opportunities. There's going to be so many ways for you to make money, for you to follow passion, for you to get excited about things. There's going to be so many avenues, Pisces. So many avenues opening up. So many paths for light to travel to you. And you're going to feel like you actually have the energy to make that happen. I feel like in the past, maybe decade even for some of you, a lot of opportunities have come in, but some of you know that you're not in the right space to say yes. Opportunities that may have been very, very good for you, but you're like, you know what? I'm getting kind of like this. I'm not necessarily like a fan of Justin Bieber. I have respect for him. I'm not, I mean, I kind of like certain songs, you know, but I do know that he has been going through a lot and he's a Pisces. That's kind of why I know. Um, he has been going through a lot and he had the opportunity of, I understand, uh, collaborating with Usher in the Super Bowl as an artist, which is usually, you would think, a lot of people's, a lot of big artists' like goal, like moment to shine, right? And he said no to that because he wasn't in the right place. He wasn't in the right space and he was okay with that. And that's something that I respect quite a bit, honestly. Because some people will just ignore themselves, their emotions, harm themselves, their emotions, their being, just to take advantage of those opportunities, almost giving them more power and more love than what they give themselves. And in this case, Pisces, I feel like in the past you have said no to a lot of things that could have been very successful because you were in the right space. And now you're going to have the right energy, the right mindset, the right... Uh, like vitality, <laughs> the right schedule, location, family dynamic, help, that is going to allow you to actually say yes to these things. Some of you here are not tapping into your magic as much as you could. You could be through energy work, through energy movements you could be manifesting a whole lot more for yourself if you wanted to so tapping into your magic tapping into your power your manifestation abilities this seems to be a resource that some of you are not taking full advantage of so if you have been feeling drawn to like set intentions do two cup methods do spell work um put your magic to, to use you have been feeling called to that but you haven't Spirit is saying here, there's a lot that you can have through that. Like there's a lot, a lot that could be coming in if you choose to manifest it. But I feel like some of you are more engaged in other aspects of life right now. But still, Spirit is saying like, it wouldn't hurt to put a little... Um, excitement put a little energy into your manifestation abilities because they're on fire right now they're like on point some of you could be having a challenge with a gemini possibly the gemini could be uh someone here that brings in news that are maybe not welcomed entirely but that that are going to be playing an important role in your life somehow very cryptic. <laughs> Take it if it resonates. There's going to be a lot of invitations for you. Some of you are going to say no to all of them. Others of you are going to be like, you know what, maybe. These are social invitations. These are... For many of you, reconciliation. For others of you, these are kind of like peace offerings, extension of olive branches. But I do sense a period of time coming in which all of these things are changing and you may feel very scattered. It almost, the advice here, Pisces, you know, it boils down to the more organized you are, the better you're going to be able to 
take all of these energies and make them work for you. Take all of this inspiration and make it work for you. Take all of these ideas and make them work for you. But if you're scattered, it may just feel like a tsunami of like emotions that you can't fully understand. So maybe take a moment today, tomorrow. Maybe take a moment to organize yourself a little bit, to see where you're standing in different areas of your life, to see if there's any important like paperwork, uh, insurance things, I don't know, that are pending, things that you may be meaning to take care of, but you haven't. All of these things are going to be very important. They almost feel like, like if you have everything in place, it's like you have a surfboard that you can use to ride this wave. If you don't have what it takes, it's like you're just floating in the ocean and this big wave is coming and like you're not probably going to do anything with it other than maybe wipe out a little and just, you know, feel a little bit, you know, washed over. So get your shit together, Pisces. <laughs> get your shit together wherever you feel like you don't have your shit together because you ignore it, because you avoid it, because you don't like that kind of thing. This could be about taxes. This could be about legal stuff. This could be about mortgage stuff. This could have to do with your education, loans. Usually the things that Pisces finds boring <laughs> and too mundane to care for. You may need to spend some time figuring all these things out, getting everything in order. You can use the help of someone else. You know, if you have an air sign in your life, perhaps a Gemini. If you have an air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or even an earth sign that loves to organize this kind of thing, that loves to um, have everything in order, like ask for their help. They're gonna love helping you for sure. to do the boring things so you can take a lot of time to do the fun things. So this could be some of you, you may have some kind of vacation coming in, some kind of opportunity to have fun. And Spirit is saying, if you get organized before that happens, you're going to have a whole better time. You know, you're going to be able to actually relax. You're going to be able to actually have fun. But if you are lazy with the planning, if you're lazy with the structure of your life right now, then it's probably going to end up affecting moments of your life that you don't want to have affected. You know, it's like you could be having fun, but you're not because you didn't take the time to organize. So this is basically telling you the opposite of that. Like, don't let that happen. As a conclusion of the reading, we have the Six of Wands. This is a card of victory, Pisces. This is the card of success. At some point in the reading, we did have this card reversed. Now we have it upright. Success, public recognition, achievement, self-confidence, victory, awards, triumph, praise, acclaim, pride, and rewards, Pisces. Nice. So you're getting all of that. Some of you are recovering from a toxic connection. We have several cards that are repeated here. And really good cards too. So we have the Six of Wands and we have the Four of Wands. So this is not only success and recognition, not only victory, but this is also stability. This is also long-term, stable, grounded success. Not just fleeting success that comes in, makes you shine, and goes away. This is lifelong, generational health, wealth, and happiness, Pisces. 
as I say that 4444 in the timer of the video. So this is really good news, Pisces. There's a lot of celebration that is going to be happening here. Allow yourself to be celebrated. Some of you feel resistance. You may feel like you need to be at a certain point of your life, in a certain milestone of your life in order to be celebrated. Some of you may feel like you're not worthy of love because you haven't done this or you haven't done that. You haven't achieved this or manifested that. Spirit is telling you you're here and you deserve to be celebrated. I heard you're here and you're queer. <laughs> Super random. Um, so yeah, maybe it has something to do with that. But Spirit is saying, allow yourself to be celebrated. Some of you have been guarded for a little bit too long. You have been a little bit of a workaholic for too long. And it may have come from a space of wanting to retreat, wanting to escape the sometimes uncomfortable, sometimes challenging dynamic of other people, dealing with other people. But now I feel like you're opening your heart and spirit wants you to open your heart. There's a lot of love that wants to come into your life, Pisces. And not only romantic love. Love in all areas. It's knocking on your door. And some of you just simply weren't in the right place, space for it. But it seems like now you are. It seems like you're going to be having more energy, more vitality, as mentioned, more inspiration and more space to hold proper connections. Some of you have rejected a lot of connections because of, you know, wanting to just escape and not engage in things that could be emotionally difficult. But others of you have done it from a more responsible point of view of being like, you know, I'm not going to offer my friendship if I'm going to be a shitty friend. Like, I'm not going to get into a relationship if I know I'm in a place in which I can't be a proper partner. So you have been pushing things away, Pisces, some of you. Maybe it's professional. Um, you don't want to accept collaborations because you know that you're not in the right mindset to honor them. And that's all well and good, but you're going to be in the right mindset now. Some of you are working through uh, a prison of self-imposed thoughts. You know, like a, a prison that you have created on your own mind, telling you that you're not enough, telling you that a part of you has been broken with, like, beyond repair. That's not the case, Pisces. They insist that it's not the case. You're going to be truly transcending this helplessness, this feeling of powerlessness, this victim mentality. You're really going to realize in the near future that you don't belong, that you you don't you don't belong in that victim's mentality. You don't belong in that scattered energy either. Some of you are realizing that what once felt like a comfort zone is beginning to feel very uncomfortable. And now you're feeling more resonant, more aligned with, I don't know, doing things right, having things organized, showing up fully in relationships, allowing yourself to be praised, to be celebrated. It's very interesting. Very interesting, Pisces. Let's see. I'm going to add just one more layer to this reading. Oh, we didn't address this one. So around you, there could be someone who's recovering from loss. There could be a Capricorn around you. Um, they could be someone you find kind of detached from reality a little bit. Um, this person may seem very independent, but they're actually kind of toxic or abusive they're going through their own process it may be heavy it may make their energy very heavy so if you are surrounded by perhaps a capricorn or someone who's just going through a lot try to be patient with them protect your energy accordingly but try not to be dismissive try not to be too judgmental of how their energy is showing up because you know they're going through a lot and we don't always have the time and the energy to have our energy in the best of shape. You know, when we're going through a lot and, you know, we're trying to survive, 
sometimes we are just trying to survive. And this person, it seems like they're trying to survive. So try not to hold their low vibration against them. They're doing their best, you know. If you want to help, if you want to support them in any way and you know how, you know, maybe that could be beneficial. But with a whoa, with a reason, within reason, don't let someone drain you. Don't let someone, you know, take advantage of you, your energy, and your space. Help them, but don't get sucked into uh, the vortex either, you know, balance there. So, Spirit, we're, wrap we're wrapping up this reading. What are the most powerful conclusions? The bottom line here. What is it that Pisces needs to know, needs to hear? In order to best navigate their life at this time. I'm gonna, only going to be taking upright cards in this one. So we got the Six of Cups. There is friendship, people you haven't connected to in a really long time, coming back in. There's balanced connections here. There is nostalgia, memories of the past, um, a lot of like, kind of like walking down memory lane with someone. Allow yourself to honor these people that are coming back into your life. These are very beautiful energies of reconnection that I'm getting here. The plant is borage. I am not familiar with that. This is a herb deck, a herb tarot deck, so that's that's why. Some of you have been You have been patient. You have learned how to truly enjoy life, regardless of how it's really going as far as like what you're manifesting or not manifesting. Some of you have really learned to savor um, every aspect of life. And Spirit is saying here, that is something to be very proud of. That is something to honor. Being able to be happy, being able to be grateful with whatever is going on, I think it's the ultimate superpower, <laughs> in my opinion. So Spirit is saying, like, if you have been working on this, if you have found a way to be grateful for things, even if they're not going your way, congratulate yourself. Some of, here, some of you here are reading a lot, you're learning a lot. Some of you are weaving, um, like textiles or like um, bracelets or things like that. You're making, like, weaving things physically. Some of you are reading a lot, studying a lot, baking, cooking. Some of you are following a lot of instructions here um, in a way that brings you peace. They're telling you to use eucalyptus as much as you can. Um, it could be essential oils or things like that to help you soothe the mind, especially if you have been um, subjected to people who tend to lie, cheat, steal, betray, confuse. They're telling you, ask the eucalyptus like medicine to heal you and your mind space, to cleanse you from trauma and from defense mechanisms that have stemmed from that. You have the Ten of Pentacles showing up in the near future, Pisces. If you have money concerns, if you have concerns around your physical um, safety, prosperity, health, lineage, um, generational wealth, they're telling you here no need to be afraid. Things are being taken care of. Things are going in a good direction. You're going to have abundance and prosperity to the point in which future generations will have it as well because of you. Okay? You're going to be that defining... Uh, transforming energy for your lineage. You're going to be bringing in so much prosperity. It's going to multiply. We got horsetail here. And in the recent past, we have oak.
cayenne pepper, Adelita of Fire. <laughs> so um, some of you may be doing like bead work, as you can see here in her wrist. It could be bead work, herb work. Some of you may be um, doing uh, recipes that have to do with or that include cayenne pepper or spices. Some of you may be exploring fire aspects of yourself, even sexuality as well. I see a lot of you like experimenting and having a lot of fun with experiments, learning new things. Maybe at night time, maybe, maybe some of you don't have time in your schedule, in your normal routine to experiment with certain things, but maybe you're getting up really, really early or going to bed really, really late in order to have the time for you to explore certain things. We have here Valerian Root, Eight of Cups. So some of you, if you are going through a healing process and you find that it's difficult for you to sleep, you're having a hard time sleeping, 5555 five, five, five in the clock, like when I saw this in the, in the timer of the video. So if you are having trouble sleeping, valerian root could be good for you. I am not a doctor or anything like that, so I can't really tell you what to take. But this is a herbal deck, so you know that's the suggestion for spirits. <clears throat> we got mugwort. We got Uznea. I don't, I have no idea what that is. I've never heard that in my life. So this is the word. You look at it and tell me what the hell is that. If you know about this plant, tell me how it's pronounced because I don't know. Then we got turmeric and mugwort. Okay, so with hopes and fears, you got the high priestess mugwort. Some of you are having this desire to step into your spiritual power. And there is a, an emphasis here on your sleep. Mugwort is usually used in dream bags, like little spell bags, as you can see here, that you can put under your pillow to have like astral travel and to have like very powerful spiritual experiences. It's not for everyone, it's kind of strong, I would have to say. And you know, there's a purpose for it that's very specific. But if some of you are drawn to that, to this message, if some of you are having an affinity with the color um, like navy blue, for some reason that's really like making an impact in your life, if that's you, then consider the use of mugwort, consider the use of valerian root, consider the use of um, dream spell bags. And then we have turmeric, which is a natural anti-inflammatory um, root, orange. It has a very powerful tint to it. Um, turmeric, is the eight of earth in this deck. So I think that many of you are going to come into a space in which you're gonna have a lot of opportunity to work, to put in a lot of effort and work into things. Make sure that you do it from a space that is beautiful to you. Not physically necessarily, um, but do it from a space of love instead of a space of fear. Allow yourself to work in a space of gratitude because you have work, because you have the opportunity to work, right? Um, as opposed to a feeling of resentment that you have to do these things. Instead, come into a space of gratitude that you have the opportunity to do the things that are maybe bringing you, you know, your livelihood. Is any of you familiar with golden milk? This uh, drink, I think it's an Indian uh, brew of like turmeric and honey and... Love? I don't know <laughs> what it's really made of, but have you heard of it? Because it's coming into my mind quite strongly. That could be a suggestion for some of you as well. And you know what, what else I'm seeing in my mind's eye? I'm seeing red pepper flakes added onto like everything. <laughs> and I'm seeing the word metabolism. So that could be like something that spikes your metabolism or like reignites it. As the wrap-up card for the entire reading, which is an oracle one, we have the word enjoyment. Striving and pushing makes life into endless hard work. 
The more you're inviting love to take over, the more enjoyment comes. Allow me to enjoy this life, dear Lord. <laughs> okay, so yes, enjoy it, Pisces. Enjoy it. You're here to enjoy it. Alrighty, my loves. So thank you so much for being here all the way up till the end of the reading. If you're here, shout out to you. Um, know that I am still offering the personalized readings um, for $55.55. So that's a special offer, special price. If you would like to get yours, you can do so in the link in the description box. If I remember and have the time, I'll add the link here as a little pop-up thingy um, so you can check it out. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's going to be wrapped up around Pisces season. I'm not sure when this video is going to be posted, but yeah, if you would like a reading, that's probably the cheapest price you're going to get in a while. So check it out. I love you so much, Pisces. I'll see you in the next one. And thank you so much for joining me today.